Samsung Galaxy A32 5G, best cheap 5G phone. We have already established that Samsung's A-series phone range is definitely worth considering, and the A32 5G is one of the most affordable among them. For under $300 you get an Android smartphone that supports 5G mobile networks. The 6.5-inch screen with 720p resolution is not an OLED panel, but boasts a high refresh rate display that provides a smoother experience. The MediaTek chipset that powers it delivers a decent performance, and can run most modern mobile games without too many hiccups. The 48-megapixel primary camera on the back is surprisingly outstanding, capturing a lot of detail, a good dynamic range, and vivid colors, even in low-light conditions using its dedicated night mode. And to help you expand the types of photos you can take, it also comes with an 8-megapixel wide-angle camera, a 5-megapixel macro lens, and a 2-megapixel depth sensor. The 5000 mAh battery cell is excellent, managing to last almost 12 hours with the adaptive refresh rate enabled. And it also supports 15 watts fast charging via USB-C cable. Add to all this the headphone jack, a micro SD card slot, NFC, and a side-mounted fingerprint sensor, and you can see why this is the best cheap 5G phone you can buy at the moment. Especially because Samsung promises to deliver two operating system updates and up to four years of security updates, and this type of software support is very rare on a budget phone like this. Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC, Best Value The Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC is perhaps the best budget device you can get right now. It boasts a large 6.67-inch Full HD Plus display, with a 120Hz refresh rate for buttery smooth scrolling and gaming, solid performance thanks to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G chipset, up to 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage space, a quad camera that includes a quality 64-megapixel sensor, a 20-megapixel selfie camera, and amazing autonomy thanks to the 5160mAh battery with a 33W fast charge support. The Poco X3 NFC doesn't emit anything, it also features an IP53 rating, a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, stereo speakers, a headphone jack, a micro SD card slot, an infrared port, and of course NFC. It has one minor flaw though, its screen is not well optimized for the 120Hz refresh rate, so while scrolling or gaming you might notice stuttering, smearing, or ghosting. Anywho, it's a flaw that you have to go looking for, and even then most users won't be able to notice it. If your budget cannot extend beyond $250, then the Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC should be at the top of your shortlist. Samsung Galaxy A51, the best Android phone under $300. If you're a Samsung fan, but your budget doesn't extend to the Galaxy S20, Samsung's A series is perfect for you. We really like the design of the A51 that echoes the look of the flagship S20 series. This phone also sports a beautiful 6.5 inch AMOLED screen, with very thin bezels and a small punch hole selfie camera. The A51 also boasts very impressive specs for the price. Inside we find a Samsung Exynos 9611 processor, and Samsung's One UI 2.0 based on Android 10. The A51 also has a rectangular quad camera module with a 48 megapixel wide angle lens that takes photos that can rival those of flagship phones. Samsung's offering is a good choice, especially if you want a big AMOLED screen for under 300 euros. TCL 10L, a valid alternative. A budget smartphone doesn't have to look cheap. The TCL 10L features a design that hides its low price while sporting one of the best displays you'll find on any phone. The 6.53-inch LCD panel features a wide range of colors, while TCL's Next Vision technology lets you play with screen settings such as dynamic adjustment of both color temperature and brightness. Unfortunately, the other hardware pieces do not measure up to the stellar display. The performance of the Snapdragon 665 is what you'd expect from a mid-range processor, and the autonomy is just average. Furthermore, its quad-camera rear module isn't that great either. Despite being able to capture beautiful photos in good lighting conditions, the lack of a night mode means that low-light shots are largely unusable. Its biggest drawback, however, is that TCL guarantees only one update of the Android OS. Be that as it may, if you usually upgrade your phone every couple of years, this is a very stylish cheap phone, and definitely worth its asking price. Nokia 5.3, Best Android One Phone When buying a cheap phone you usually have to lower your expectations, but the Nokia 5.3 impressed us. 
Unlike most cheap phones it is equipped with USB-C charging, a dedicated Google Assistant button, NFC for payments via Google Pay, while HMD Global promises two years of Android version updates and three years of security updates. If all you want is a basic smartphone, then the Nokia 5.3 is an excellent cheap Android phone.